Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's very good to see you again. Do you see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single video. So press the subscribe button for an extra greeting. Folks, really quick, I wanna give a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Before we get into the, today's video, I wanna say really quick, thank you to everyone who uh, who's giving me positive feedback on my new Yee Yee tattoo. For those of you who don't know, I tweeted uh, 10,000 retweets and I'll get a Yee Yee tattoo. Didn't think it would happen. I got 10,000 in like the first night. So uh, I, yep, that's the thing. And now it's on me forever. There it is. So great. So thanks for all the kind words and everything. Love that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm a real country boy now. Graduated from YYU. Yee Yee, <laughs> buddy. Speaking of country boys, remember the, the country boys and country girls of TikTok videos that I made? Well, I'm making another TikTok video. How's that for a segue? Dude, am I on a chair or on a segue right now? I literally can't tell, dude, because that segue was so a boss. I also just said boss and I hate that. I'll tell you what's not boss, saying boss. <laughs> so I wanted to do another TikTok video, so I reluctantly opened the app and I scrolled through it and what do you know? Dad, I did it. I'm back from school. Awesome, buddy. How was your day? Oh, it was a war zone. Uh-oh. Teachers were yelling, students were yelling, and then there was me, sitting in the corner chomping on my goldfish. Oh, well, good. I'm glad you stayed out of trouble. Actually, it turns out the goldfish was the class pet, so I am in a lot of trouble. Still garbage. Amidst all this cringy content, I found the cringe king. He wears the cringe crown. He lives in cringe castle. All the other cringy TikTokers are the... They're the cringe peasants, and they're like, Oh, your, ma your majesty, what? What shall we do? You've probably seen his videos before. I'm gonna show you his most popular one that people have, you know, roasted and stuff. Um, let's play it. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor. Pie, pie, pie. Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry, I'm dad. Why did you name me this way? Why, why, why? <laughs> LOL. So this guy goes by the name Jill. Jill, Jilmer? Jill. Jilmer Crows, Jill Crows, Cheryl Crow. So this guy, Jill, and his brother, I wish his name was Jack. <laughs> so Jack and Jill, the TikTok stars. So Jill and his brother, Jaden, not Jack, for some bullshit reason. We're gonna take a look at Jill and Jaden's content, see what they're doing wrong, see how we can fix it. And I think their content highlights the overall, like, bigger issue with TikTok as a whole, but we'll get into that later. So without further ado, let's get into some bullshit. Also, I don't want to get claimed by UMG like I did in my country videos because, um, you know, I need to eat and stuff. So every copyrighted song that plays in these guys' TikToks, I will be recording a, um, a cover so I don't get claimed. So. All right. Take that, UMG. Ugly man, guys. That's what it stands for. All right. Let's go. <laughs> this classic premise, dude. You know when your phone's on 1% and you're like, Fuck, I have to plug it in before it runs out of battery or else I'll have to turn it back on. Dude, how relatable, dude. Man. I don't get it. So his phone was about to die. So he's like, oh shit, my phone's about to die. I better run to the outlet and plug it in. And he makes it just in time. Whoosh, thank God. Didn't see that one coming. And then his brother is like dead, <laughs> I'm guessing. But his phone is also dead. So Jaden does what any good brother would do. Instead of using his charging phone to call 911, he charges his, uh, his dead brother's phone because, you know, so brothers do. Brotherly love. <laughs> and then as soon as he plugs in his dead brother's dead phone and it comes back to life, he comes back to, I don't, dude. Maybe it's like a commentary on like, how like we're like attached to our phones and shit. Dude, that's deep. Phone bad, but good, you know? I'm gonna see if I can reference all my other videos in this one video. <laughs> so this highlights their content very well. A lot of over the top faces, really generic premises and not really anything that 
creative at all. You know, it's just like my bone guy. Saying you like me or not? I'm saying I like you. Well, then I'm saying I like you. Fine. Fine. Then I guess we're boyfriend and girlfriend. One condition. What? I get to be the boyfriend. Woo! Now that's some fucking top notch comedy, dude. The fucking drums at the end. <laughs> wow, dude. I mean, I don't know what that's from. What is that from? So this is from Drake and Josh, apparently, and he's just, you know, lip syncing. A little clip from a show with his fucking onion haircut. Like, this is another issue I have. Like, I thought lip syncing was just for music because sometimes musicians do that. Like, you know, the Ashley Simpson thing that happened, you know, lip syncing is a thing that happens all the time, probably. Lip syncing music, that makes sense in a way. But dude, lip syncing, just a fucking like TV show, man. Wow, that's so weird. Super weird. It's Drake and Josh, but there's some like talented writers and stuff in the world that are like, they fucking, they work so hard on making great scripts and then actors, you know, they, they work hard at like delivering these lines and everything. And then there's, you know, directors and editors and so, so much work goes into like just one piece of original content. And then for some guy to just be like, I get to be the boyfriend. <laughs> It's such a big fuck you <laughs> to like anyone who like works in the entertainment industry who like actually gives a shit at what they do. I don't know. Very strange. I don't like it at all, Jill. All right. Why don't you go fetch a pail of water with your brother? <laughs> likes. <laughs> the brother in the background, like the brother wasn't tagged. In the background for one shot of him spinning like a ballerina. Hey, hey little bro, I'm doing this really fucking weird TikTok. Do you want to like be in the background and spin like a ballerina while I do it? Oh my god, I thought you'd never ask. Here we go. Was that good? Okay, uh, this next video, I hate it so much. Hate it. It really highlights one of the main issues I have with this dude. He captioned it two side of me. Like two sides of me is what he meant, I guess. Ha 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 I got I got fucking two sides, dude. I'm like I'll make faces, but I'm also the hottest fucking guy you've ever seen. I can make silly faces, but I can also squint at the camera. Who else could do that? Only the two sides of me can do that. Dude, how funny it would be if it was like <laughs> two sides of me and it was just him like, ha 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 <laughs> Front side and the back side. <laughs> if that was the video, oh my god, I'd still be laughing forever. But that wasn't. Like, I feel like you gotta pick one. You can't be like a comedian person, like funny, wacky dude on the internet, but also just a <laughs> boy or whatever. Like, that's that'd be like if John Mulaney was just like, hey guys, I'm a hot guy now. It's just weird, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, what the fuck was that, man? Hey, Jill, real quick. What the fuck? Oh, weirdest way to start any fucking video, dude. Looks like you're getting a fucking blowjob, man. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What are you doing? Why did he start the video like that? Like, why? Why these over-exaggerated, like, movements and facial expressions for a fucking dumb handshake with your little brother? That's so weird. <laughs> I hated that so much. I love how the little brother acts like, oh, wait, what the? Oh, the camera's on? Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do the handshake, dude. That's such a surprising thing you just did. It's not like you didn't just tell me we are gonna do this. Whoa, <laughs> I'm your little brother. <laughs> My name's Jack. <laughs> Ah, God, everything about that video, I hated. If this video was personified and it like came up to me and was like, hey, Curtis, I'm that video that you hate a lot. Nice to meet you. I, I would just have, to, I just have to like square up with it. I'd have no other option. I'm not gonna lie. This is me if, I, if that video was a person. <laughs> 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 
Uh, How is he doing that? Stop, Jill! I don't know how he did that. Because it, the music was so serious and scary, it couldn't have just been him rotating his phone. That the music's way too serious for that. He must have rotated the earth around him to make it look like he was rotating the phone, dude. Jill's out of control. Watch me fucking get it. Do, 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 do. You'll do, see, do, eh? Do, do, You'll do, see. Do, Playing tennis on the do, Wii. Do. <sighs> The more I watch these, the more I think that I'm just a fucking piece of shit. Because, like, is this normal? Is this fine for people to just be like, Hey, hey, bro. Hey, little bro, you want to dance in front of a camera to a weird song? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can wear your fedora. That's fine. Oh, I encourage it. Okay, hold on. Let's just set up the phone here. Yeah, we're brothers. We're two dancing brothers. Is that normal? Is it? I don't think it is. Maybe for Jack and Jill, but can't spell brother without broth. And you know, that was super bad. Should I delete my channel? Should I do it? <laughs> Should I fucking do it? That was the worst joke I've ever fucking made. Or maybe the best. That's what you slipped in. That's what was on your shoe. And that explains the abrasion on your palm. Let me run that back for you. Okay, look, I'll give him this. That wasn't that bad of a Jim Carrey impression, but the thing about Jim Carrey is that he is so funny because he, his facial expressions and his acting, it's at the perfect level. Like he does it like so well. Any more of it, any more of the like facial expressions, any less, it'd be not funny, it'd be weird. And just like Jim Carrey, it would, he'd just be a weird guy. But Jim Carrey's like such a, a, a funny fucking guy <laughs> because he just knows the exact level to do every role that he's in. Like Jill's content is like an alien, <laughs> like came to earth, watched like five Jim Carrey movies and was like, okay, that's how all humans are. Okay, now I'm gonna go do that. Alrighty then. Okay, so believe it or not, this Jill person has 17 million followers on TikTok, which is, just fucking crazy. So obviously they have a YouTube channel and um, it's not any better. So let's take a quick look at it, shall we? Let's look at this video called, We Stubbed Our Toes. Uh, 1.8 million views. <laughs> I can't believe you start posting on YouTube again, Jay. That's like the best thing ever. Cool Sam is getting bigger and bigger. Dude, as soon as you hear that sound effect, you know you're in for some just bullshit. <laughs> we can become bigger, faster, and stronger. <laughs> and their faces, <laughs> their faces are funny. No, he stuck his toe also. Oh no, ouch. That happens to me sometimes too. Oh, <laughs> Dude, how fucking disrespectful is that? Just adding a fart sound for no goddamn reason. Like if they're just editing it, like, yeah, this, this is really good. Like you just like fell down and then like I fell down, like, but you need something more. What do we, what do we do? Like what else could we add? What about a burp? That'd be funny. That's not funny enough. That, that doesn't make sense. Um, oh, I got it. What if he farts? <laughs> Now that's the kind of thinking that we need around here. Fart sound. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Comedy, dude. Ha! <laughs> so funny, he farted. Like, yeah, here, sure, here's a fart. There you go. I'm gonna start doing that. Every time I'm, <laughs> whenever I'm on stage and I do a joke, at the end of my bit, I'm just gonna have a fucking fart sound effect. I once met a deer who could write with both hands. It was Bambi Dexter. <laughs> Step aside, Jack and Jill. Kurt boy's on the way. Okay, let's see how the video ends. Boys, guess who brought pizza? Woo! Okay. What the fuck? So, premise. One guy stubs his toe. Ouch. Other guy stubs his toe as well. Ouch. But then, 
pizza. Yum. <laughs> Those are the three, <laughs> three rules of comedy. Ouch, ouch, pizza. That's all you need. Oh, what a piece of shit video that was. I don't really know what they're trying to do on their YouTube channel. They do a lot of like vlogs, which aren't really entertaining at all. It's just them being like, what's up guys? We're going over here. Now we're over there. Well, what's next? You're right, we're now we're over there. They also made two short films. They're like 20 minutes each. I don't know why I watched them and I wanted to include them, but I honestly, I would have to do a whole video about them because it literally just doesn't make any sense at all. Here's a clip from one of them. Please give me your attention. Uh, no. <laughs> what the Do you my haunt? Don't you ever touch my pizza? Again. Yeah, it's about him like trying to make a movie. I don't know. It's about him trying to make a movie and he dances a lot. It makes no sense. Again, it's like an alien watching a Jim Carrey movie and it's like, oh, alrighty then. But my favorite video on their YouTube channel, their merch announcement. Imagine making all those like crazy, funny, wacky videos and then for your, to sell your merch, you're like. <laughs> our fucking hats, get our hats, dude. It's another example of Jill being like, yeah, we're, we're funny, but we're also like fucking super high, you know, two sides of me. <laughs> like imagine if I did that for my merch. It's just weird, right? Doesn't make sense. Okay, I think that's all I can really take of this guy's content. I think you get the gist. This video is centered around this Jill person, but it's real. I want it to be like a bigger like commentary about TikTok as an app, like in general. I just think it's very strange that they're moving away from this like music lip syncing. Like that was already fucking weird. But the fact that they're moving away to like other people's content. Hey guys, I'm editing right now. Uh, I just realized I said something wrong here. I meant to say that um, it's weird that they're like moving away from lip syncing music to like lip syncing like TV shows and movies and other stuff like that. Okay, that's it. Bye. I remember there was like a bunch of people using like Chris Melberger's Vine. All these people just lip syncing with my voice. It's so strange to me. What's going on? My name is Billy. I'm 19 years old and I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> He was a boy, she was a girl. Like, how do you feel normal doing that? You know, it's so strange. It's like if I started my, my YouTube video like, what's up, Greg? Basically stealing other people's content, making it your own and just making stupid faces and like basically a mockery of it. It's not really talent, you know? <laughs> Original content gets stolen literally every fucking second. Like I've had so many of my fire tweets stolen from just bullshit Twitter accounts being like, ah, it's me. I wrote it. Oh, you fucking tweet it. It's everyone's now. And you have companies like Fuck Jerry, like making millions of dollars off of stolen content. I mean, they've had that stuff in the news recently. Thank God. You know, it's finally, they're finally crediting the people who make the memes, but it took so fucking long for that to happen. It's probably still going to happen for a long, long time. And TikTok is just like feeding into that issue, I feel. Like, sure, they do the little credit thing at the bottom, but it's rarely citing the original thing. Like that Drake and Josh one, it wasn't referencing Drake and Josh. It was just like, yeah, it was from this other one. Who knows what it's from? Just fucking lip sync to it. And I'm sure there are some exceptions, but a lot of these TikTok stars, TikTokers, these famous TikTok people, it's, they're not getting popular for any real like talent, you know? If it makes you happy and stuff, I mean, I guess, and if it's like paying your bills, all the power to you, you know? That's great, fucking good job. But the whole idea of like lip syncing other people's original content and like making it yours and like profiting off of that, I don't know. It's just inherently fucking weird and it should stop, I think. Like imagine Jill on fucking America's Got Talent. And I like you. Well, then I'm saying I like you. Fine. Fine. Then I guess we're boyfriend and girlfriend. One condition. What? I get to be the boyfriend. Like, if you're gonna be 
be a comedian, you gotta have some like talent, right? You gotta be a, you gotta be talented in, in comedy. With most jobs, it'd be, it'd be like being a, like going in for work to be a chef and you don't know how to make any food. You wouldn't even know what to do in the kitchen, you know? But with HelloFresh, cooking is so simple, anybody could do it. That's right, folks, it's time to learn about HelloFresh. HelloFresh, how you doing? Cooking at home can be super intimidating, you know? You gotta go out, you gotta find a recipe, you gotta go get the ingredients, you gotta prep the ingredients, you gotta cook it, and just fucking hope that you did it correctly, you know? And sure, you may be a natural-born talent like Jill, or a natural-born chef like Guy Fieri, but you know what? Most of us, we get lost on the way to Flavortown. That's where HelloFresh comes in. HelloFresh makes cooking at home enjoyable and easy. They send you fresh, pre-measured ingredients and easy to follow six step pictured recipe cards right to your door each week in a special insulated box. And all meals come together in 30 minutes max. You hear that max? Only 30 minutes. We're all busy folks, okay? I'm always editing or filming or writing and by the time I want dinner, I'm way too lazy to actually cook an entire meal. But HelloFresh does all the planning, shopping and prepping so you can focus on enjoying the new year and a healthier you, dude. There are three plans to choose from, classic, veggie, and family, with the option to switch plans whenever you feel like a change. Me and my girlfriend are vegetarians, and we're also super lazy, so we always end up making the same like four or five meals over and over again, but HelloFresh allows us to start cooking outside of our comfort zone by discovering new, delicious recipes. Now you're probably thinking, wow, this is way too good to be true. This is probably super expensive. Well, you're wrong. All right, HelloFresh is now $6.99 per serving, making it America's best value meal kit. But if you wanna save even more money, HelloFresh has hooked up the citizens of Curtistown with a really awesome deal. You can get started with six free meals. That's two free meals in each of your first three boxes. Yeah, just head on over to HelloFresh.com and enter the code CURTISTOWN60 for a full $60 off. Listen, it's 2019, I want all the citizens of Curtistown to be happy and healthy, so, Click the link in the description, enter the code, and get some awesome meals, dudes. And the best of all, you'll be supporting me and my channel so I can continue to make some top-notch content, dude. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Curtis Connor. That was another episode of me making fun of guys on the internet. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. One like equals one pail of water fetched by Jack and Jill. If you wanna see some more uh, TikTok videos, let me know in the comments because I have some ideas. Um, and I love to do them. So let me know if you want to see them. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Uh, the link's in the description to get your sweet Curtis Town deal. Also, while you're down there in the description, you can uh, take a look at my social media. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, there's also a link to my weekly podcast. Very, really good. You can check that out. Listen to it. It's a lot of fun. If you enjoy the videos, you'll like the podcast too. There's also a Patreon for that podcast where you can get early access to episodes and a bonus monthly video episode. Also, my super awesome Curtis Town merch. We, you already saw that earlier in the video, but the link's down there. I'll see you guys next week. I'm gonna go do a cool handshake with my little bro. Bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, there's some more videos on the screen that you can click and watch. And don't forget to press that subscribe button for an extra greeting. All right. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? Click on something. Okay, bye.